Dominated by Tsarist Russia and the Soviet Union for nearly two centuries, Estonia was an economic backwater. When the Soviet Union dissolved in the early 1990s, Estonia reclaimed its independence. Desperate for a new direction, Estonians elected the youngest prime minister in Europe's history. Mart Lahr was 32 years old. Many in his cabinet were in their 20s. We started from 1992 with inflation 1,000%. We had top in economy 30%. We had prognosis for unemployment on 35%. We had the shortage of everything. And of course, I didn't know very much about the economy. The only book about the economy, what I have read, was Milton Friedman, The Freedom of Choice, and that was the only one. So. But there was a lot of good ideas therein, and I introduced a big part of those. Racing to catch up with the rest of the world, the young Estonians created a low-tax laboratory. The zero corporate tax on profits reinvested in Estonia has made the tiny country a magnet for foreign investment. It is now considered the most competitive of the new European Union members and ranked by the Wall Street Journal as one of the freest economies in the world. One of neighboring Finland's largest electronic companies, Elkotec, built this manufacturing plant here in Tallinn in 1992. It produces communication equipment. Elkotec is now Estonia's largest exporter and one of its largest employers. Antti Pipo is the CEO. Well, it's uh, very simple to say that uh, Estonia, in my mind, is one of the most attractive countries in the European Union. Among the more innovative aspects of life in Estonia are free internet sites scattered throughout the country. The World Economic Forum reports that per capita, Estonia is more wired than Italy, Belgium and Spain. And Estonia has adopted one of Milton Friedman's most controversial ideas. We were the first country uh, introducing really this beautiful idea of the flat rate personal income tax. To be very frank, I didn't know that nobody has done it, but it worked. Uh, it worked exactly in the way how it was prognosed by Milton Friedman. 